I use Ellie Girl Pro Concealer for my eyelid. This one right here, as you can see, is almost gone because that's the one I use the most. This orange color, and I'm just gonna put it in the inside of my eye. I've gone ahead and applied my other eyeshadow and my eyeliner off camera because I just cannot put on eyeliner on camera. And I use the NYX eyeliner right here. Next, I'm going to go on to my foundation and I'm going to put on my lashes at the very end because I don't want like all the powder and all the buildup to go on my lashes. For moisturizer, I use this moisturizer right here by NYX. It's a, it's a hydro touch. Basically, it's a hydrating primer. What I use is, ooh, it's my Estelade primer. I mean, my Estelade foundation. Like, I absolutely love this foundation. Um, I found out about it um, because I went to the mall to buy something else, and this lady gave me a sample of it, and I fell in love with it after using the sample up. about this foundation that I will say not that I don't like but that I feel a way about is the fact that they literally only have two colors like I feel like they only have two colors for my chocolate ladies and I just don't understand how a company this big can only have literally two color for dark skin and like as you can see, I'm not like the darkest shade of dark skin. And they literally have only one more shade dark in me. And that's all they have. That's the only um, colors they have for dark skin. But I'm gonna just apply this throughout my whole face. What I really like about this foundation is that if you have semi-okay skin, like myself, um, then you don't have to put on a, a what is it called a color corrector before putting it on. That's one thing I really, really love. And as you can see, this foundation is like like slightly lighter than me, and that's because I'm gonna contour really harsh. I'm gonna like put in a dark contour, but I'm not gonna really highlight that much. So it just all blends in and works out because this is it. Like other than this, they have the next color up for me is like really, really dark. And I yeah, I can't afford to buy two of these foundations to mix because I don't have $50 to spend. I think it's like almost $50 per bottle for this foundation. And I'm not about to spend $100 on foundation alone. So I just use this one and I make it work and it absolutely works. Like it's not that much lighter than my skin, but it's definitely a little lighter. But once I do everything, it just comes together. Lee Hill Contour Kit. I always do my baby hair before putting on my makeup, like always. And my friends joke and laugh at me about it, but it just it just makes my life easier. I don't have to worry about makeup touching this side and then when I have to like slick my baby hair, messing up my makeup from it, so I just Head into my baby hair first, knock it out. Back to my foundation brush, and I just kind of like blend everything together and make sure no brush lines are showing. Oh, guys, I forgot to highlight before I continue. Okay, so we have a highlight now, and I don't do, like I said, I don't do a lot, so it's gonna be very straight to the point. So I take my Elegant Comfort Pro Concealer that I use on my eyeshadow, on my eyelid, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna like.
Okay guys, so for whatever reason, my camera battery keeps dying because I didn't charge it obviously. But um, I believe I stopped at putting on my lip liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lips, my lip gloss. And I already put on my outfits for the day because, you know, I'm on a time crunch right now. That is it for my face. I'm done, 100%. Um, now I'm gonna go on to put on my wig on. As you can see, I have like this stuff around my edges and it stops right here, from here to here. That's my got to be glue and it's the black one.